everybody. Welcome back to my ranting series. This is JTM Alley 9681 and I am here to rant about what Joe Osteen has recently done. Where Joe Osteen canceled services at his ch mega church this past Sunday because of a flooding. It's understandable when there's a flooding you that you don't want that congregational building that you are running to get flooded out. So you want to be able to close the doors if you're in that initial area where that flooding is currently taking place. Well, people were trying to find shelter because they were flooded out. Thousands of people. And Joel Osteen did not want to open his doors because he clearly was not in the initial area where the water was above the streets and all through the property of where the congregational building that he runs is located. And he was just telling people to just lean on their faith. And here's what he said. Here's what he tweeted. That Jesus, Yahshua, promises us peace that passes understanding. That's peace when it doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense is what you tweeted, Joel. These quote-unquote comforting words, of course, did not set right with critics. They don't set right with me either. He has a 16,800-seat arena at his, and yes, this is his church, not God's church. This is his church. I'll get into that later. At Lakewood Church near downtown Houston. Completely closed. And here's what somebody had said to him. You have taken so much money away from people to live like a king. It's the least you could do, meaning to open up the doors of his, of that church that he has to help people in time of need. Joel does not care about people. And people, there are so many gullible people who think he's one of the greatest. Well, like I said, I'll get into that later. People need to wake up. Now, this church was not damaged by any flood. This church was not damaged by any flooding. And so somebody else said, it doesn't make sense why you're not opening your mega church to house Houston citizens. Help me understand that. And and they they were trying to claim even the spokesman Donald Eilf or Eilf or whatever had said that the property is inaccessible because of surrounding waters. There were no surrounding waters. None at all. And it makes no sense to open church doors when the city and county are already treated treating thousands of flood victims at nearby convention center so what are you that self-righteous to keep people away oh my gosh that's ridiculous it has everything inside medicine doctors places to sleep it's amazing what they're doing there to make people comfortable trying to cover up <laughs> make it look so right now we look at this one here where Joel Osteen responds he was slammed for not opening his mega church for the hurricane uh, victims and now Joel Osteen is saying that he never closed our doors bull crap there's proof that he did we will continue to be a distribution center to those in need continue don't you mean start we are prepared to house people once shelters reach capacity. Yeah, once shelters reach capacity. You should have already been doing that to begin with, Joel. Do you really think all people except for you are that stupid? Now you look at these. These are around the campus where people are at. This was not around the church. This person doesn't even know what they're talking about. This was not around the church. And there are pictures around the church that shows that there is nothing that the church needed to do to cl keep the doors closed because it was flooded. There was nothing flooded. And of course, Joel Osteen did not respond like he should be. Of course not, because he knew he was caught. You'd be opening your doors to your displaced neighbors. Very true. I live in an efficiency apartment, a little smaller than a normal um, studio apartment, and I would still house people if they 
who are in need for as much as I can. Come on. So ridiculous. Yeah, even pastors around the different churches are saying it. Lakewood Church said it had launched a fundraising campaign for victims in the hurricane. It would begin collecting infant and adult diapers, baby formula, and baby food at 12 p.m. local time on Tuesday. Now, service is being canceled due to the weather. That's understandable. However, you can still place areas for people. Come on. You didn't start doing that until after you got slammed. <laughs> Would soon open to those displaced due to Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, this was after they got slammed when they started this. And other... And other places and churches have opened their doors. Joel Osteen has a mansion. A big, big mansion he could have used. He is that selfish. Now, let's look at some tweets here. A message of Christian love to all those without shelter in Houston right now who seek refuge in Joel Osteen's church. You have been blocked by Joel Osteen. Why in the world would he block her like that? Tom Crane has also been blocked. And so basically he's putting out what Joel Osteen pretty much says all the time. You can't afford to pray for the poor. That's not what money's for, Joel. Don't be stupid. I would never give my money to you. Look at these different tweets. I'm not going to read them all. You can always pause the video at your leisure and read them. And then this person wants to say that it is an inaccessible due to flooding. Well, have you seen the photos? No flooding, not even close to that enterprise. They just don't want a flood of people in need. I haven't seen any photos in the area around the church. I've only read articles about the flooding. Well, here's a photo. The main entrance. 20 cars parked out front. No flooding. Yeah, boombastic. Exactly. Does not serve in any way. Yeah, it's all about the money and their image. Publicity. That's all it is. Joel Steen is, is not a true believer. Could house a thousand in his home, too. This is his home. He could easily help people. He doesn't want to. I know I need to let myself calm down a little bit here because my emotions are starting to run high because I know how Joel Osteen and people like Joyce Myers and Benny Hinn are. They don't care about people. They're not true believers. It's all about publicity so they can gain fame from it. Only offers thoughts and prayers to those whose lives were destroyed. Pretty true. Yeah, look at this. Two more photos right here. There is no flooding at all around that church. And Joel Osteen knows it. Do I need to show any more proof? He's only started trying to get things prepared because he knows he's caught. Yeah, I agree that Joel Osteen should wear something like that. Because that's exactly what he did. With a big old sarcastic smile on his face. Yeah. Asked why he won't open his, the doors of, of his church to the victims. And he got blocked. Yeah, I know that there's millions of dollars tax-free annually. But I'm not worried about that right now. See, Joel Osteen block, had blocked these people because he knows he was caught. Yeah. Noreen Colbert. Not very Christian, but then few of the mega money grab Christian churches are. So true. Yeah. This is Joel Osteen's response. Praying. And then he blocks people. You know what? That's the thing about Joel Osteen. He's a prosperity preacher. The same as Joyce Myers. Same as Benny Hinn. All of them are wolves in sheep's clothing. They are not true believers. They use Elohim, God, as a way of making money off of people. Joel Osteen has said it himself in videos. There's video proof, look it up, that he does not believe in Jesus Christ and that you do not have to believe in Jesus Christ to go to the same heaven. And he says that the scriptures even say that. He doesn't know the scriptures. Neither does Joyce Myers, neither does Benny Hinn. I give no support to those three, and especially Joel Osteen in, these, in today. None whatsoever.
So that's going to be it for this ranting video, folks. Letting you guys know what's going on, even though you may have already known about this. So with that, this is JT9681 signing off. And I hope to see you all on the next ranting video, whenever that would be. See you guys later.